Alright guys, what is going on? I'm Tubby Emu, and we're talking about injuries today. Uh, this is a match already somewhat in progress. The ladder is going to... What the fuck? Where'd the ladder go? Uh, this is somewhat of a match in progress. You know, we're talking about injuries. Um, one of the things that I saw in Wrestling Inc. today was the possibility of when Karma and Sin Cara would return. And if you guys have been paying attention, Ted DiBiase is also now hurt. He was wrestling with a sprained or broken wrist, and I, I have to give him, you know, props for doing that. I, I think that's, you know, pretty cool that you keep working. He's kind of like Mark Henry. Um, we kind of have some update on when Sin Cara is going to be returning. You know, for Ray to come back for WrestleMania wouldn't really make sense other than on a Team Long or Team Teddy thing. A lot of people don't think it'll happen. Uh, same thing with the possibility of, you know, Alberto Del Rio or Christian coming back. You know, they did make their appearance uh, at Elimination Chamber, and for them to come back for a match, you know, we don't know if they're absolutely ready, but the one thing that we do know is, from the speculation, is that Sin Cara probably will not be back in action until June or July, uh, which means there absolutely will not be a match between Sin Cara versus Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. There's just no way it can happen this year. And that's not necessarily, I would say, a bad thing. I think the match would be awesome, and they want to get the, the record for the most you know, people wearing masks at one time. And I, I was thinking about that for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. They, they mean the audience and the crowd, right? They don't mean like the, the superstars, because if the, if the world record is two superstars in one thing, I, I think they have a problem because of all the luchador companies. Um, in, in my opinion, though, I think that that match can wait, you know, but you got guys, the, the injuries are just plaguing them, you know, you had Randy Orton with a concussion, Ted DiBiase's out now, you have Sin Cara, Karma had a baby, um, and her in full in-ring return is still yet to be decided, you know, she did return at the Royal Rumble, and there's still wild speculation on when she's coming back, you know, she just did have a baby in January, so I think, you know, give her a little bit of time to, you know, spend time with the baby before she goes full-time on the road, um, you know, maybe she doesn't want to return, you know, who knows? Uh, but once, once it's in your blood, you pretty much want to do it all the time. Uh, in my opinion though, I would say, um, you know, the WWE has got to do something, you know, injuries are a, um, a fact of life that they're going to happen in the wrestling business. And it goes to show that, yeah, it can be scripted. The matches can almost somewhat be choreographed, but injuries happen. They really do. Uh, no matter how well you plan things out or fake script it. Uh, real injuries occur, and that you know, in, in, that's kind of you know sad to see, especially when you're losing a lot of your big name talent. You know, if you had a guy like John Cena again, or you know CM Punk, and you took out two of the biggest name guys on the show, and they were injured, the WWE would be in a lot of trouble. Uh, absolutely, if if CM Punk and John Cena got hurt simultaneously after WrestleMania, um, and not needing a break, like not kayfabe wise. I think the WWE would be in trouble as far as star power goes. You know, they're already losing ratings with The Rock on the show. I mean, imagine without him. I mean, what would the WWE go into panic mode? You know, Rock shooting three to four movies this year all in sequence, so the chances of him coming back to WWE full-time aren't going to happen. And, you know, he's been saying, you know, a lot, there really is no need for me to be back full-time. You know, people get sick of John Cena because he's there full-time, so that's John Cena's argument about why he doesn't have to be there. Um... But in my opinion, all these injuries that are plaguing the WWE, it's going to come back to bite them in the ass. You know, because they're not building up these mid-carders, because they're not, you know, utilizing these guys properly, it's going to bite them in the ass. And I think this is a lesson and a teaching point for WWE, and you guys can agree or disagree with me, is they have to start building up their other talent besides relying on the guys that have been around. You know, they need to focus on actual superstars, you know, and build them up. You know, you have Justin Gabriel and Heath Slater, which were a great tag team. I thought they were awesome, even though they were in Nexus. You know, but now that they're by themselves, they're horrible. They're not They're not building them. They're not, you know, doing anything with them. And it sucks, and it's horrible to see that, guys. But let me know what you think of all the injuries plaguing the WWE. You know, you know, Ted DiBiase has now been added to the list. Guys, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Tubby Emu, and Twitter.com forward slash Tubby Emu, guys. Have a good day. Peace.